Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS project series, we will learn that how we can make a component for update product, and that will be only a UI part. And in the upcoming two part, we will uh, make API for product uh, update, and then we will integrate it with the uh, front end. So uh, let me just show you the example that what we are just trying to do here. So as you can see that for in operation we have only one button for delete. So let's say a uh, 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 product owner want to update these products. Let's say he want to update the name, price, or category or anything. That time uh, there will be a update button. Whenever he will click on or she will click on that update button, then there will be a new uh, update product page and there will be some input fields like. Uh, same as add products the data will be pre-filled here and then we can just change it and, and update the product right but uh, in that part we will only create the update component and then we will just uh, make the input fields and collect the data from them and these are the points as i already told you that we will make a link then we will make component we will define input fields we will collect the data from input fields and this is my instagram account if you want to follow me there and uh, if you want to just subscribe my channel then please subscribe it all right so let's start with the first point and create a link uh, in our operation column so let me open here first we can close all these menus we don't need them so let me create a uh, one more link here so I'm sure that you remember that what is that link so guys if you don't know you can just uh, see in the nav bar file here we have lots of link for product add product update and all and this link is actually coming from uh, you can see that uh, react router dom so I am just importing it from here import link from react router dom and uh, then we can close this tag and we can put here any text let's say update and then um, we can define here two two means it's like href where we want to redact it so we want to redact it on put on the update page so now whenever i will just click on it you can see that it will just redact us, us to the uh, update router that's okay but with that route how we can identify that which product we want to update for that we need a product id or something unique thing right so what we will do here whenever we will click over it so we will also send a id to the uh, parameters and then we will uh, call api and that api will get the all data of uh, that product inside uh, you can see that uh, in update component right so how we can pass the parameter here or dynamic id here so we can just simply let me just try with the static id first so let's say i want to send here 10 then you will find that it is not actually working whenever i just click over it there is a nothing to show here so why it is actually not able to display anything the reason is uh, you can see that the path we defined for that uh, link so let me open here app.js and here you can see that we just define here update so there is a no second parameter so let me define here id or second parameter and uh, now it will work because we define here second parameter also so if i am just trying to call here any route it will still work okay now this is a static id so let's make it dynamic what we can do here we can use curly braces and even if you want then you can use your uh, Mm, uh, template literal but uh, I just simply like to add here item underscore ID and now we have a dynamic ID here you can see that whenever I will just click over any uh, update link it just send a ID on that uh, URL right that's fine so now uh, we just want to update this text because you can see in the app dot component app.js this is just a small simple static text so we want to update it with the but uh, you can see that a component so let me create a one more component here and that will be let's say update component dot ts or js and to save the time because as we know that this is very 
similar to the ad product so i can just copy uh, and uh, we already just get, go, uh, got learned that how we can create the ad product and input fields and all so i am just copying this all stuff from ad product to and pasting here in update product and now let's update this component first of all i am putting changing its name update product let me change here this uh, component name then we have a function with the uh, on click so let me change it with the update product let's define this function and we are not calling this api for a moment so i am removing this all stuff and uh, let me just uh, i will just add some console here but within a moment we don't need this error input we will define it later because i just want to make this component as simple as possible we can just change this text let's say update product so now uh, and we don't need this uh, state also so we have some input states uh, you can say that uh, component state these input fields let me get this text also and this is a simple component right so let me add this uh, in the app.js so let me import it import update product from update component and we can register it inside the element like a component right and now let's see are we able to see it uh, whenever i will just clicking on any update link we are able to see this text all right so let's collect the data we already defined here the states and already we are getting the data on change so we can simply just add here console.log like let's print them name price category company and all we can remove these extra spaces we don't need them so now let's try to click over the button after adding some uh, temporary stuff <clears throat> a b c and d let's click over it and here you can see that we are getting the data from input fields in next part we will get the data from database on the behalf of this product id and we will prefill this uh, update product form right so that we can just check that what are the current values and how we can update them what we want to update them so that's all for this part and uh, if you have any kind of confusion any question you can ask me in the comment box thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel i appreciate your time and thank you